Hello and welcome, I am Arumba, thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Najdi Jihad. So, I, uh, took a night off, I slept for a day, you know, not a whole day, but eight hours. Normal, normal amount of sleep, regular sleep. I'm not like one of those creatures that, like, goes three or four days in a row without sleep and then sleeps for, like, 48 hours or something. That'd be weird, wouldn't that be weird? Anyway, I've had a chance to look around the ledger a bit and think about what to do next, and there's a few things that I've noticed. First off, we're rapidly becoming very, very strong. We are in, um... We have the largest military, by far. We also have the highest income. Now, a long time ago, people were saying that trade is a strange choice. I this is I just like having the biggest income. I feel like as soon as you get to the position in the game where you have the most money, then that's when the snowball just really starts to speed up. Because not only can you win because you've got more men that you can buy can you and you can afford, you can also afford a very artillery-heavy army. Um, but then you can also just buy all the mercenaries that you need. And so you just you basically never lose at that point. Um, and you can also build lots of buildings, which I like to build. I like buildings. I think they're good. Most notably, I like the buildings that increase force limit. Um, we're pretty much going to be building the arsenal and the conscription center in every single province. Whether it's coastal or not, I don't care. The arsenal and the uh, conscription center I find to be just the best possible building that there is. More troops equals just better, always. Um, that's my opinion. Now, as far as the next idea we're going to go for, I'm going to do something weird. I know there's a lot of people who think we should go military ideas, and we will. But first, I am going to, for the very first time, since I've never actually done it, I am going to force myself to pick Humanist. Um, this National Revolt Risk minus two is essentially the same thing as Tolerance 2, which will stack well with our national ideas. Tolerance of Heretics and Tolerance of Heathens will help out, just in, in the whole while we're converting process, and then most notably the years of nationalism minus 10. The accepted culture threshold will be interesting. I want to see if maybe any more land becomes accepted. And then better relations over time plus 33 means that our aggressive expansion will decay quicker, which will be nice. And idea cost minus 10. That's the main reason why I want to get humanism or humanist ideas next, is that it'll make all of our future ideas cheaper. So, um, that will match up well with, um, well, we'll get trade, idea cost minus 10. Exchange of ideas, yearly prestige plus 0.25, and idea cost plus minus 10%. So we get ideas down to 80% normal cost, 320. So, I, yeah, I don't know. The only thing in the administrative idea group that I'm even interested in really is core creation costs, and I don't know if I want to take a whole idea just for that. I mean, admin tech reduction is is nice, but I we don't really need the mercenaries. It's true that available mercenaries increases your force limit, but... We don't have any loans. I don't really care too much about possible advisors. These other ones just don't, they just don't make sense. But we're definitely going to need to pick up um, probably offensive and possibly aristocratic. If I could get plus two to land leader shock, then we can start to have some really, really good generals all the time. And that sounds pretty good. So, okay. Now, as far as what we're going to do on the map... I've decided against vassalizing the Mamluks because the they're just very small at this point. I mean, in order to get them to, down to a size that I could vassalize them, they're so tiny that it just makes more sense to me to conquer them directly. And uh, also their opinion of us is so low that it would take extra time. Um, they would avoid some nationalism, which would be kind of nice, but I don't want to spend the relationship slot on them. So that means that we've got, of the four relationship slots we have, we've got two tied up in vassals, Tripoli and Kiva. Timrids are going to become our next vassal, and Nogai is going to be the next vassal. But first, Muscovy has chosen to have the Ottomans as a rival, and even though they don't like us right now, they would accept an alliance if we were to get them to like us more. However, we need them to improve relations with us, too. So what I think we'll do is um, that we can't get a royal marriage for different religious groups, but um, I will ask them for military access and do all kinds of stuff like that to get them to like for me to like them enough that they will allow us to become allies and then the other thing that i noticed is that chagatai we were talking about how we need to just ruin their prestige so that we can get the timurids out from underneath them they have a coalition against them of delhi ahmednagar and orissa and i was planning on fabricating a claim so we could just you know declare on them but actually we already have a claim here since they took this province we could declare that but we'll just use a coalition war, and we can force these other guys to help us, and maybe they'll do most of the work, actually. Or we'll just we'll just declare the coalition war and then do nothing, and force these guys to fight each other so they all get weaker, and then we'll come in and stomp them all. 
because just because we use these guys offensively against Chagatai doesn't mean we're going to have a truce with them. And we have no relationship with them, so we declare on Chagatai, beat everyone up, and then we beat up Orissa, Vigianagar, Kathiawar, all that stuff. So, that is the game plan. So we're trying to core province. Oh yeah, that's right, we've got... We do have quite a bit of overextension right now. Actually, we're at 108%. How'd that happen? Hmm. Oh, that's right, we already had... Uh, okay, 16% Mombasa. That's about to go away. It's okay. No worries. Military access from Castile and Mali. I think we'll just ignore them because they're dummies. First Rebellion. Oh yeah, and I had taken the mission to core Estefan. And that's the only one that we're coring already. Just so that it starts. Okay, so, where are our diplomats? We are improving, improving relations with Nogai, Crimea, and okay, so let's come back from Crimea and Nogai. Another rebellion, and another rebellion. It's going to be kind of a painful few years while we're dealing with all these rebellions. These are big rebellions, too. we got a 2-4 general, a 1-3 general. We lost the effects trading in Ivory, that sucks. wonder why. All right, how's the army balance? We're allowed to have that many cavalry, so that's fine. A few more artillery would be nice. I have a feeling we're going to get the mountains. And our general's not very good. This is the best general we have, a 2-3. Oh, gosh. Damn mountains. All right, Cord Mombasa. That's actually probably the reason why the uh, rebellions are so large, is that we're temporarily over the... Overextension limit. We were at 100 and something. If you're over 100, it increases the size of the revolts by percentage of overextension. So they're basically double the size they should be. Or, unless I miss, maybe I misunderstand it. Maybe they're only 8% larger. Could be. How's the call? Yeah, the conversions are going to be done really quick. Let's wait for some morale. Let these guys fully reinforce. I don't think we have to worry about these sieges being completed. Although, is this, is this one being converted right now? No. Good. Mali has accepted peace from their former enemies, Mutapa. Wait, what? How did how did Kilwa end up winning? Damn. Alright, well, Mutapa, you don't get any more money. How dare you fail. More missionary strength? Hey, that's kind of convenient right now. Well, there goes my plan, so we're going to have to find another way to... Uh, Maybe Kilwa has gained some trade power in this node. Yeah, now they have 19%. Alright, so we'll be able to justify trade conflict. We'll find a way to get to war with them again. Wish I hadn't made that mistake earlier. Truce timer with you is 63. Five more years. Okay, Muscovy, improve relations. And Chagatai. Join, join coalition. Joining the coalition should give us the CB directly, right away. At the end of this month. Since there are enough members, there's going to be four members total. I don't believe we need to be the one. No, we actually don't have the CB. Do we have to be the leader of the coalition or something? Well, as long as we declare war... Who is the... How does this whole thing work again? I forget. Let's just say we're to join a coalition against you. Form a coalition. Hmm. If one enters, all will join. Yes, we know that, but why do we not have a CB? I was expecting a Cassus Belly. Well, still, we can declare war on the conquest thing and then get that. How dare they breach the walls? That one might actually get taken, possibly. It could happen. Alright, so Muscovy. How close are you to becoming my ally? Currently have negative nine reasons. Common rivals. Interesting, so all of a sudden this is actually... not close enough. Well, give me military access. So I like you better. We have common rivals. You should totally, uh... 
should totally let me be your ally. That means that we can core Yazd. Which I think we just finished converting. Good. So it shows 12% risk, but that's because it's still not getting the... It's got the active missionary and it's got the intolerance, so next month that should drop to zero. Perfect. We are suffering some nasty attrition while we move through Yast. Sistan. And Estefan, we started coin first because that's our mission. So that one's going to take a little bit longer to convert. Hopefully we'll get lucky and we can still do another um, Achieve Religious Unity mission. Please don't take this. Laura Stan can start being cored. We have a diplomat free. We finished integrating Kiva. That means we have more troops. We might be over the force limit. We are not. Good. Integrating Kiva actually reduced our naval force limit, which is annoying. So now we're down to two relationship slots again. Um, I think we just declare the war with Chagatai. They're allied with Crimea and Kazan. They rule over Dundar and the Timurids. Crimea and Kazan would join. Kazan doesn't matter. Crimea, Tech 8 to our Tech 12. Total number of troops in Crimea. Oh, that's the wrong page. Total number of troops in Crimea, 37,000. We'd want to have a few troops over here on the border. Crimea would not become the war leader, so they can't call in the Ottomans. Which actually means we could isolate these two. We could, we could force Crimea to annul their treaty with the Ottomans. And I believe that there are some countries that can be spat out here. Golden Horde. We can have them spit the Golden Horde out. The Golden Horde would be Sunni. We could vassalize them. Peacefully. Okay. Let me finish dealing with this little rebellion here first. And let's see how Kill was doing down here. How long is our truce with them, anyway? Three more years. Yeah, they do have enough. Okay. Justify trade conflict. We will... Ooh. That's only for one year. I'm not going to pay points for it. Okay, please don't take this. We're coming. We'll be there soon. Okay, good supply. Supply's okay. Um, we need a larger army over here. Preferably in the mountains. This terrain is um, not going to be the best for like torching or anything, but we can hang out in the mountains. We could torch Circassia and then just hang out in the mountains. And if they want to come siege it, good for them. In the meantime, we do have Revolt Risk here. The overextension will go away and then it'll be pretty much gone. Hmm. I feel like we need more troops. Definitely need more artillery. Our income is not the best. Reinforcement's a big part of it. Okay, well, I think that um, I would really like to get Muscovy involved. Muscovy, would you please improve relations with me? I, will, I shall proclaim a guarantee of you. If anyone attacks you, I got your back, bro. What do you? What's it going to take to make you improve relations with me? Hmm? Kara has rejected peace with the former enemies of Persia. I'm guessing Persia offered a surrender and wanted to give them something, but this little kind of nasty move that I did here is affecting them. Which is good. Persia, very, very small. There's no way we can get them to become a vassal, though. I really like vassalization, it's just the, the not having the um, 
nationalism until we finish the, or get the humanist idea group. Avoiding nationalism is pretty appealing to me. Hey, okay, Muscovy, seriously, you need to improve relations with me. I want to be your friend. We should, we should be friends. Oh, number of great, great powers, great power allies. Well, fine. Let's not worry about it for now. We're still at two out of four relationships. Let's stop guaranteeing them. Ottomans have declared war on the Knights. And we have a small revolt in Upper Sind. Any bit of attrition. Excellent supply supply up there. Crimea is trying to become our friend. <clears throat> It's too bad, Chagatai. You grew too big, too fast. Any way I can get Crimea out of this? They have rivaled Kara. Well, here's an idea. We want to break up the relationship between the Ottomans and Kara. And Crimea, that little triumvirate is annoying. I declare war on Kara. Kara calls in the Ottomans. Ottomans calls in Crimea. If I ally Crimea and declare war on Kara, they'll join. It'll be me and Crimea versus the Ottomans and Kara. Kara's at tech 9, Ottomans are equal tech. Ottomans are the threat, but they're a little distracted. They've got half their army going over to the knights. And I'm assuming someone defended the knights. Nope, never mind. But we could declare that war, and then declare the war on Chagatai, and then it's just Chagatai... ...with Kazan. So Chagatai and the Timurids versus these guys. This army alone could take them. I mean, Chagatai's on tech 11, but... ...Timurids army's not gonna matter. Eventually, we're gonna have to fight the Ottomans, so I feel like... ...at some point, we might as well just do it. Of course, they have terrifying generals. Hmm. Well, I'm going to take a break here. We'll think about it. I'm not sure yet. But somehow we're going to pick apart these people. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.